welcome to this video exploring chapters two and three of the the project style dissertations so these are any of the projects which are not the extended literature review because you'll notice that chapters two and three are the different way around compared to um, those presented in the extended literature review now you might wonder why I'm standing in the garden with loads of flowers behind me. Well, it hasn't been the most uh, fantastic of summers, but at least some of the flowers are out. And I just thought I'd give you an opportunity to see them, even if you can't smell them. Okay, so chapters two and three, what we're going to be focusing on to, um, in, in this particular resource is how you can carry those out um, following the specific rules in the uh, assessment specification document, which I've then rewritten for you in these Adobe Express resources. So hopefully you will find um, not just the rules on how to do it, but some good explanations on um, how you can actually put those chapters uh, in, 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 into being, bring them into being. So for all of the different projects, other than the extended literature review, chapter two, is going to be your literature review. Now, I call it a literature review, but it's a bit more than that. You've only got uh, um, a short amount of word space here. Um, I think it's 2,000 words. You're gonna have to check in the document. Um, you've got uh, about 2,000 words, and in that, you have to do your search strategy. So that's the method you're gonna use on how to find particular papers, as well as um, critically explore or start to critically explore some of the themes or the trends coming out of those papers. 